Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Carbapenem resistant Enterobacteriaceae CRE infections. Introduction. Carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteriaceae, or CRE, are a group of bacteria. A CRE infection is hard to treat because the bacteria are highly resistant to many antibiotics. CRE infections most often happen to people who are treated in healthcare facilities. The infections usually happen to sick patients who are receiving care for other conditions. CRE infections can lead to death in a significant number of patients who become infected. This program explains CRE infections. It discusses symptoms, risk factors, diagnosis, and treatment of CRE infections. It also covers how CRE infections can be prevented. Carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteriaceae infections. Carbapenems are a type of antibiotics. They are able to fight a large number of bacterial infections. Carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteriaceae are a family of bacteria. They have become resistant to almost all of the antibiotics that healthcare providers use to treat bacterial infections. This includes carbapenems. The bacteria that cause CRE infections are a normal part of a person's healthy digestive system. They usually live in the intestines and do not cause infection. CRE bacteria can move from the intestines to the bladder, blood, or other areas of the body. The bacteria do not belong in these areas. CRE are most commonly spread by touch. CRE can easily spread from person to person. The most common sources of infections of CRE are from patients themselves who already have CRE in their intestines, healthcare workers' hands when doing wound care or handling the stool of patients who have CRE. CRE can be carried by patients, healthcare professionals, or visitors in healthcare settings. If CRE bacteria leave the intestines, they can cause a serious infection. CRE bacteria may cause bloodstream infections, meningitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infections, wound infections. CRE infections are most often seen in people who are already ill. These people are usually receiving treatment for other conditions in a healthcare setting. Some examples of a healthcare setting are hospitals and skilled nursing facilities. Patients whose care requires certain medical devices also are at a higher risk of CRE infection. These devices include intravenous or vein catheters, urinary or bladder catheters, ventilators or breathing machines. Other risk factors for developing a CRE infection include chronic or ongoing medical conditions, frequent or long-term antibiotic use, recent surgery or transplants, use of multiple kinds of antibiotics. CRE can also spread their resistance to antibiotics to other kinds of bacteria. This can make infections caused by those bacteria difficult, if not impossible, to treat as well. Symptoms. Carbapenem-resistant Enterobacteriaceae infections can cause a variety of symptoms. The symptoms depend on which part of the body they infect. CRE can cause gastrointestinal illnesses, urinary tract infection or UTI, pneumonia, infections of other organs in the body, wound infection. If CRE infect the intestine, it can cause symptoms such as diarrhea, abdominal pain, vomiting, fever, and chills. People whose care requires urinary catheters are at risk of a UTI caused by CRE. Symptoms of a UTI include pain or burning when you urinate, fever, chills, or shaking, an urge to urinate frequently, pressure in your lower belly, nausea or upper back or side pain,
People whose care requires a ventilator are at risk for pneumonia caused by CRE. Symptoms of pneumonia include fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, chest pain when you breathe or cough. CRE can also cause sepsis if it infects the bloodstream. Sepsis is a life-threatening illness. Up to half of all patients who get sepsis caused by CRE die from the infection. Sepsis causes your body's immune system to go into overdrive. Blood flow does not get to vital organs. This can lead to organ failure. Symptoms of sepsis may include all or some of the following. High fever. Fast heart rate. Low blood pressure. Breathing problems. Abdominal pain. Changes in mental state. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Diagnosis Your healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. He or she will ask you questions about your personal and family medical history. Tell your healthcare provider if you have been hospitalized in another facility or country recently. Your healthcare provider may collect and test blood, stool, or other samples for signs of CRE. The sample is tested in the lab for bacteria which can be grown and identified. Treatment Only a few antibiotics are effective against CRE. They may have significant side effects including toxicity to the kidneys. Take your antibiotics exactly as prescribed. Do not stop taking them early. This can cause the infection to come back. Your body may naturally clear CRE from your intestine as you recover, but it may take a long time. A person who has been diagnosed with a CRE infection should receive medical care in a room where they are the only patient. This is to prevent the spread of CRE to others. If you have been diagnosed with a CRE infection, your healthcare provider will wear gloves and a gown while caring for you. This is to prevent the spread of CRE. Visitors may also be asked to wear gloves and a gown when visiting a patient with a CRE infection. All visitors will be asked to cleanse their hands with an antibacterial product or soap and water before they enter and after they leave the patient's room. If you are transferred to another healthcare facility or a long-term care facility, your healthcare provider should inform them about your positive CRE result. Prevention Infections can happen after many types of medical procedures. This is particularly true if you are having surgery. To prevent an infection, wash your hands often. You should always wash your hands before preparing or eating foods, before touching your eyes, nose, or mouth, before and after changing wound dressings or bandages, before and after handling medical devices, after using the bathroom after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. Expect your healthcare team to wash their hands. Be sure that everyone with whom you have contact washes their hands before and after working with you. If you have an IV catheter or wound dressing, keep the skin around the dressing clean and dry. Let your nurse know promptly if your catheter or drainage tube becomes loose or dislodged. If you have diabetes, discuss the best way to control your blood sugar before, during, and after your hospital stay. High blood sugar increases the risk of infection. If you are a smoker, you should strongly consider a smoking cessation program. This will reduce the chance of lung infection while in the hospital. It may also improve your healing abilities following surgery. Ask your friends and relatives not to visit you in the hospital if they themselves feel ill. Tell them that they can visit when they are feeling better. You do not want to get their illness. Temporary medical devices such as catheters and ventilators should be removed as soon as possible. This can also help prevent an infection. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Carbapenem resistant Enterobacteriaceae, or CRE, are a group of bacteria. A CRE infection is hard to treat because the bacteria are highly resistant to many antibiotics. CRE infections most often happen to people who are treated in healthcare facilities. 
The infections usually happen to sick patients who are receiving care for other conditions. They can lead to death in a significant number of patients who become infected. To prevent an infection, wash your hands often. You should always wash your hands before preparing or eating foods, before touching your eyes, nose, or mouth, before and after changing wound dressings or bandages, before and after handling medical devices, after using the bathroom, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. The most common sources of infections of CRE are from patients themselves who already have CRE in their intestines, healthcare workers' hands when doing wound care or handling the stool of patients who have CRE. CRE infections can cause a variety of symptoms. The symptoms depend on which part of the body they infect. Only a few antibiotics are effective against CRE. Take your antibiotics exactly as prescribed. Do not stop taking them early. This can cause the infection to come back. Thank you for using Explain.